Kids 105, 43, and 13, 40. We're hip hop and RB, live the day party. Who's your favorite DJ, DJ D Soul? Y'all, I'm back. I've been down for a couple of days. We back today. It's time to discuss some hip hop news. It is time for. D Soul, what the hell happened and today? A lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we got to start off with my man Kanye West. Seems like every day it gets crazier and crazier. And he was too much for LeBron James. Y'all, LeBron James has a show on HBO called The Shop, which I like a lot. Uh, it'd be different people getting their hair cut or hair done, and they talk about different things. And, you know, people from different walks of life, so that's why it's so cool. And uh, he have a bunch of different celebrities in there. Well, his latest episode, he had Kanye West on there. They said Kanye West was talking about a bunch of hate speech and doing a bunch of negative talk, and they couldn't go for none of that, y'all. They said they had talked to Kanye the day before, and it was all good. As soon as them cameras got to rolling, y'all, it was Kanye a thousand percent. They said they couldn't do that. Um, now, what, one thing that's kind of interesting is the episode featured Jeezy. So I wonder, was Jeezy in the room when they were doing that? LeBron was not there. So LeBron was not filming. But I do wonder, was Jeezy in the room when Kanye was going ham? Y'all, in other news, uh, the first week numbers are in for the big projects that dropped this week. And we'll start off with NBA Youngboy. He dropped a surprise project called 3,800 Degrees. He moved 24,000 units in his first week. Y'all, didn't they have NBA Youngboy? He'll drop another project about three, four weeks, y'all, straight up. G Herbo, he moved 27,000 units in his first week. Y'all, I am not a G Herbo fan at all, but I got to give him credit. He got some people that, that listen to him still. And Quavo and Takeoff, they moved 29,000 units in their first week. And I got to give them an apology, y'all. I did get a chance to check that project out. The project is rocking straight up. I got to give them some credit. Uh, it's probably like two or three songs I haven't got to check out yet. But y'all, there's a lot of bops on there. They flip an old outcast song. I got to give them credit. It's way better than I thought it was. Now, my expectations was low. But it is better than what I thought. Y'all are talking about new music. Little Baby is dropping his big project. It's only me this Friday. 23 songs. That's a lot of songs on that thing. But uh, he got Young Thug on there. Nardo Wick, Rallo, Rodriguez, Pooh Shiesty, Future, Jeremiah, and more. Are y'all ready for that new little baby? Y'all, 2020. He was maybe one of the biggest artists on earth. This is two years later. Can he keep up that same momentum? We'll see. And y'all, Glorilla, she is dropping her new EP. It's called Anyways, Life's Great. That's coming out November 11th. And y'all, Glorilla, she is on a streak. She dropped FNF. Are going to be the song of the summer. She got the big single out right now, Tomorrow. And the song that I like is Blessed. That's the one that I'm really feeling featuring Yo Gotti. So big shout out to Glorilla. And y'all make sure to check that project out when it dropped. And y'all, last but not least, Sade is back in studio. She's working on her first project in over 10 years. Her last project dropped in 2010. It was called Soldier of Love. And she said this project will be a continuation of that project. Y'all, that is what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp, right here on Kids 105.3, 1340.